Hey y'all, it's me. So it's been a while since I did a video. I think that my anxiety is acting up, so I just want to talk about how I'm feeling. Like over the last few days, um, I'm having this headache, like off and on. Um, I've been taking aspirin, like every day I'm taking aspirin. But I have this like heaviness on my left side and um, I keep feeling like a pressure up in here and across my face and sometimes it starts from here and goes down to, to my chin but right now it's like here. I'm not having any type of sinus issues. Um, no breathing, nothing funky out the way, but I'm noticing like I'm feeling some, some type of numbness sometimes in here, in here. And I'm thinking that it feels funny on this side of my face over here. I keep looking like, you know, I know I can't be stroking out or whatever. But I keep feeling these weird head pains. Um, is that gray hair, Lord, or lint? I don't know. Is that lint? Yeah, that was lint. Woo. Anyway, um, I noticed yesterday while I was doing my daughter's hair, she has very thick hair, as everybody knows. But I was combing through it, detangling it. And my thumb right here fingers started locking up like locking in and I was having a hard time like popping it back out and here lately too I've been getting like cramps in my left leg and toes like charlie horses and so I'm like maybe I'm not drinking enough water you know I'm drinking water drinking water drinking coffee tea that's all I drink really water coffee tea occasional beer or a glass of wine um, it's all in my rotation. Maybe a soda here and there, but not sodas like that. Um, but like I've been feeling weird in my body. Um, too scared to go to the doctor. The coronavirus really has me afraid to go to the doctor. Um, um, been trying not to overthink it, thinking, hey girl, you're getting a little older, you know, um, your body's changing. Um, girl, you've gained weight, so, you know, this could just be, you know, your your body shifting or adjusting or whatever. Side note, try not to yarn. Hold on. Excuse me. Side note, I intend on getting this weight off of me. I've gained 60 pounds in four years, five years. What's this, 2021? Paisley was born in 2015. And Paris was born in 2018. So I've gained 60 pounds since 2015. Um, 10 pounds per year. <laughs> so uh, due to stress, life, just, you know. I keep trying to figure out why I am procrastinating with it but in all seriousness like I keep telling my girlfriends and my some of my family members these symptoms and things that I've been feeling or expressing with my body all started oh, excuse me I'm tired y'all I haven't been getting much sleep um what was I saying oh um Everything that's been going on with me here lately, in my opinion, has been since gaining weight. Like, over a period of time, I'm starting to notice, like, certain things. Like, my knees are starting to hurt again. My lower back is hurting, like, awful, awful pain in my back. And then spasms here and there in my back. Um, I'm worried about the amount of aspirin I'm taking. Um... I may be, okay, so I wake up, take aspirin, 
Maybe take aspirin again at lunchtime. Now take aspirin again at bedtime. But this is going on every day. Excuse me. And the thing about it is, it doesn't take away the pain completely. It just, you know, takes the edge off. Um, I don't know if, if it's because of my new work chair. My other work chair was just as bad. My work chair is pretty comfortable-ish. Comfortable-ish. Um, not necessarily comfortable, you know. I got a footstool, you know, so you guys can see. Okay. That little chair right there is my work chair. It swivels. It's, you know, comfy. Kind of, sort of. But I just, um, I just, I don't know what it is. And I'm worried and afraid, you know, anxious, anxious, because you guys know I suffer from anxiety, which I'm due to go pick up medicine um, for my anxiety, which I'm, I'm starting to be somewhat ashamed of talking about it with my husband, <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, y'all, I'm tired. But he doesn't take my anxiety as serious. Granted, it's not as extreme as it used to be because once upon a time, I used to just like jump up and go, like, I'm getting ready to die. I need to go to the emergency room. I always considered the hospital to be my safe place. Like, if I'm at the hospital and I pass out, somebody here I know can save me was how my thought process went when having a severe anxiety attack. And I would go to the hospital and just be like, somebody help me. Like, I know y'all can help me, you know. And the medication is getting to the point to where, excuse me, my God, y'all. Mm, excuse me, y'all. But the medication is getting to the point to where sometimes I feel like I'm just chewing pears, you know, just trying to get rid of that feeling. Then I started trying to get rid of the feeling with alcohol, which wasn't a good thing. Like I would do a glass of wine before bed, <sighs> just like now while I'm talking to you guys, I'm feeling that numbing sensation go down my face like it's like a pressure point like go down my my face it feels really weird like down my jaw <sighs> and I'm so worried about it like like and it's coming like sporadically I don't like what do I do like <sighs> You still have to go to the doctor. <sighs> Here it is, the anxiety. Like the like is that a new sign for me for my anxiety? Like Like I don't know if you guys can see the change that happens like It just feels really weird. I try not to claim stuff. But see, there's something else too while I'm talking about it. So, it's going here. But then I have this pain here. Since the weight gain, like, of course, my, my breasts have become heavier. And so, my bra is like in that cut again. In that cut. And that cut again like old school and it's just pulling all that same type of pain and pressure like I am I have been contemplating um, having my breast done <sighs> but then I'm like if I have my breast done and I haven't lost the weight that I need to lose then what's the point of me having my breast done but you can still see my collarbone 
but it's not as prominent as it used to be 60 pounds ago but anyway that feeling it's like so weird like I and see here's the thing I hate to make an appointment with my primary care doctor I don't want to go through the referral situation I think that um because I do have insurance I may just be able to go to um where I normally go to the neurologist um it's just really something that I really should do. Like, I need a physical. i just been putting off a lot of stuff because of this coronavirus. And I'm like, I got to do something. I got my kids, and I just, you know, I, I got to go get this checked out. Like, I need to go get a mammogram. I need just an overall physical. Go get this checked. Um... I don't know y'all I just feel off and it's affecting me um, in a weird way like I feel it all down in here in the back of my jaw I don't feel it down in my neck and I'm like is it a I, I'm not gonna talk about what my thoughts are cuz again anxiety and it's just all kinds of just like random thoughts. Just random thoughts. But um see now I'm looking in my face like to make sure I ain't looking crazy. You know. Cause the first thing that comes to my mind is like, am I having a stroke? You know? I'm not going to put nothing on myself. I have to stop it. I have to stop it. Just pray for me. <sighs> Anxiety sucks all the way around. <laughs> Anxiety sucks. And it sucks when you have mental health issues and nobody understands it except for people you relate with on social media, maybe. And some of your family members, and you know your physician, whomever you're talking to about your issue. But um I don't know. This this was really random, but I just wanted to talk about what I was feeling. You know, sometimes I do this when I feel an anxiety attack coming on or if I just want to talk and just share what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking. But right now this is what I'm feeling and thinking. Why am I having these feelings? Like, I feel it all about my eye, like, a pressure. Like, and then what'll really bother me if I go to the neurologist, they do the scans and all of that, and then come back and say, everything looks normal, perfect. You take these, take these pills. Whatever pressure you're feeling will go away. But if everything looks perfect, why provide me with a prescription? You know what? Now that I think about it, I have a prescription. Right here. I'm going to take these. I'm going to take these right now as a matter of fact. Because they may help. They may help. I'm hoping it does. This and some prayer because... I'm feeling pain here, not pain, but sensation, let's just call it that, here, in this spot where my finger is here, right here. Ignore my roots, I need a root twist. From that spot to my temple, down my jaw, right in here, right in here, down. But my mouth isn't twisting up. Nothing's drooping. Eyes not drooping. You know. No slurred speech. Weight and heaviness in this arm. Like a tiredness or fatigue. But I do sleep on this side. 
or sleep a certain way quite a bit and then I hold my arms that way while I'm working like my watch feels heavy on my arm I don't know if that makes sense or not but yeah sorry guys but I'm gonna go I just wanted to share that little tidbit that Pebs feels like she's going crazy <laughs> oh, but I'm not so I think I'm gonna put on my big girl pants tomorrow and make some appointments because I have the days off and I have the times and I need to take care of myself so I'm gonna do that and I'll let you guys know what I find out I'll talk to you later bye